local mountain man. Alrighty. And he's one of Here the best trail runners we've got in this country. Six foot track marathon, 2019. To be in Blue Mountain. In the mix there today. At, uh, uh, Explorer's Tree at the moment. Got, uh, Courtney Atkinson comes back got, again. Uh, you plenty of people about. Quite as much from the so, trail running scene, although he is prolific these days. But very well supported event by the New South Wales Rural Fire Service. One of Australia's greatest ever triathletes. Uh, conditions are quite good. It's, a little bit of a breeze, which is good. Swing, bike, and run. Shoes. Keep us cool while we're out. Um, previously, got second place. First, first run of the year. So expectations aren't overly high just to get out there. First time doing the event, so I'm not sure what I'm in for. Um, but uh, yeah, looking to have some fun out there, finish, and um, do as well as I can. So report out on the course. Um, in a couple of spots and yeah, hope to have a good day. So, just punched through 8k across one of the roads. Still feeling good. I'll keep it up. There's fantastic volunteers out here. Thanks so much. Uh, well, I've got just under, I think just under 3k to go. Uh, just wasn't my day. I'm going to finish. No issues there. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Really struggled on the hills today, but that's okay. You know, first run of the year, so expectations weren't high. Um, but yeah, I'll put it through to the finish, and uh, I'll report after the race. Okay, so just doing my post six foot track marathon report. Uh, I'll keep it relatively brief just because uh, it was a, a, a tough day out there. Um, <clears throat> first time I'd ever done the event. Um, I'd sort of gone in a little underdone, and but this was all, all in preparation for the Ultra Trail Australia 100K um, in May. So, I started off pretty well, headed, you know, from Explorer's Tree down through Megalong Valley through 8K-ish. That was, that was perfectly fine, felt comfortable. Um, got down the Cox's River. Um, most of that was relatively comfortable. Really, from, beyond, from that point on, um, there's a lot of climbing. Now, <clears throat> I'm okay when it comes to climbing. I'm not a fantastic climber. Um, by any stretch, but I found that the climbs were longer than I had expected. 
um, heading up towards, you know, like mini, mini saddle, um, and I'm probably going to butcher the name, pluviometer. Uh, they, <laughs> the, the climbs were just long, slow slogs uphill with very little relief as far as, um, to me, what, what you could actually run, um, or what I was capable of running, I should say. Um, so I was getting further and further up the hill and just, just walking. There was a lot of walking, a lot of walking on that course. Um, with a lot of others too, we were all walking and just slowly making our way up the, up the hills. You get a little bit of a re relief with a downhill um towards Alum River, but you know, then then there's, there's the tough slog back up the hill again. Um I mean so in the end uh, I was a bit slower than I expected to, but really it was about crossing that finish line, um the time on legs, the mental toughness, just slogging it out and getting there and you know, not ticking off another uh, a race and that to um, help prepare for the for the bigger picture. Uh, overall, fantastic event. Um, huge, huge thanks to all the you know, um, like race directors and um, those who were uh, handing out the bibs and merchandise and all that sort of stuff at the Carrington or uh, the the start uh, towards Scenic World there in the morning. And and really the biggest thanks has to go out to the New South Wales Rural Fire, Rural Fire Service. They, there were so many of them out there and they were all really helpful. They, they knew what they were doing. They, and they were so supportive and and positive and kept everyone upbeat and just just were absolutely fantastic and you know massive credit to them to you know be out there and, and support this event that has been going on you know for was it 35 years now or 34 of the 35 years um it's, it's just amazing um so yeah i i um struggled but finished and um, we move on. Um, look at the look at the positives. You know, it's, you can't always have a good day out on the trails, um, but uh, take the good with the bad, and you move on and uh, to bigger and better things. So that's my report. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, let me know, and um, I hope to see you out there on the trails again.